finding a table of values given a rule. So what does that mean? A rule is like an equation. So if we have an equation like y equals x plus 2, this is like our rule. So another word for equation is rule. And how can we find a table of values? Well, to do a table of values, we need to draw up a little table. To find values of y, if we know some values for x. So we always put x at the top and y at the bottom. And let's find a few, let's make x equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And let's find values for y. So to do that, we just need to going to sub, we're going to sub in values of x into our rule to work out what our values of y are going to be. So this is saying if x equals minus 2, what's the value for y? Let's write them out. So if we know that y equals x plus 2. If x is minus 2, we're going to have minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So that's our value here. What about when x equals minus 1? So instead of x, we write minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2 gives us 1. And that's the value for here. What about when x equals 0? We're going to have 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So we're going to get 2. You might be able to see a pattern here, 0, 1, 2. You might guess what the next one might be. But if x equals 1, we're going to have 1 plus 2. So y is going to be 3. And for linear relationships like this, there is always going to be a pattern. And let's just confirm. So when x is equal to 2, we're going to have 2 plus 2, which is 4. And as expected, we get 4 there. Let's look at another one. Let's look at the rule y equals 2x plus 3. Let's make a table of values. So x at the top, y at the bottom. Let's make x equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. You can pick anything really for the table of values, but you know, I like taking some negative ones and zero and some positive ones. So that's usually a good spread. And let's go ahead and work some of these out. So we know the rule is y equals 2 times x. Let's do the first one, minus 2 plus 3. 2 times minus 2 gives us minus 4. Then we have to add 3. Minus 4 plus 3 gives us minus 1. And that's our first value in our table. Let's do minus 1. So it's 2 times x, we know x is minus 1 this time, plus 3. So y is going to equal 2 times minus 1, which is minus 2, plus 3. And this time, we're going to get 1. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. And that's that value there. Let's do our next one. 2 times x, x is now 0, we've moved to 0, plus 3. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3, so that's our next value here. You might be able to see that it's going up by 2. Let's just double check. So y equals 2 times x, x is now minus, sorry, x is 1 plus 3. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, and as expected, it's going up by 2, so we get 5. Our last one, 2 times x, well x is now 2 plus 3. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 gives us 7, and it still goes up by 2.